Hey guys, Random Cat here, and we're up to episode 31 of Stein's Gate. We're getting pretty damn close to the end. Um, Mayuri keeps dying, but let's see what we can do to save her. Hopefully, I lie back on... This is after I wake back up. So, I lie back on the sofa with my phone in my hand, needles in my brain, whining in my ears. These sensations never get any easier to endure. I look at the clock. It's about 1.45. There's a high school baseball game on TV. In about 15 minutes, Kurisu will finish the time leap machine. All I need, all it needs are some final adjustments, so there's nothing for me to do but wait. As the pain in my brain subsides, I realise that my head is throbbing. Why? Oh, I remember, right before this, I had an argument with Mr. Braun in which he introduced his fist to my skull. Mayuri is at her sewing machine working on her costume. Daddy was at his computer collecting Moe artwork from the internet. Kurisu is in the development room, upgrading the time leap machine. I sit, motionless, as the minutes tick by. Suddenly, the sound of the sewing machine stops. Okarin, Okarin, can you come here? Mayuri shows me her costume. Can you hold this for me? Spread it out like what? <laughs> Mayushi, Mayushi, say FWAP again. Oh my god. FWAP. He said, she said, Piron. Piron, Piron. I got a FWAP. Stop it, Perv. I follow Mayuri's directions and spread the costume out by the sleeves. Hmm. Okay. Arigato. Mayuri looks a little tired. She was working on this costume all night. But then she smiles brighter than the sun. All done. I said something here, didn't I? What was it? I can't remember. I finished before Christian. We were racing. You win, Mayuri. Congratulations. But I'm finished too. Kurisu finishes connecting the two cords she's holding. Complete. Alright, that's my cue. We're not experimenting. Huh? Eh? Cap, was that too soon? I just finished and you're already shutting it down? What I've been doing these past three days. Time leap presents a host of problems. I want to consider them more carefully. Huh? That's an unusually respectable opinion coming from you. Problems? I thought it was done. I'll explain later. Everyone's tired, so let's go home. We're not going to have a party to celebrate? We'll do that another day. I managed to convince Daru and Mayuri to leave. I lend Mayuri my phone charger since we use the same brand of phone. Kurisu tries to go home too, but I quietly keep her back. What? Are you upset? Yeah. Probably because I shut her down right after she finished the time leap machine. She'll feel relieved later, but only after she has time to fully consider its implications. I came from five hours in the future. Kurisu spears me with a piercing glare. Is that supposed to be funny? Her narrowed eyes make me believe that looks can kill. Don't glare like that. This isn't right. You're supposed to believe me. 
<laughs> huh? What made you think I'd believe something like that? You told me so five hours from now, okay? Don't be ridiculous. I would ne never make such a baseless projection. I'd like to have a word with future Kurisu. It, if this is how you're going to be, then you leave me no choice but to quote the you word for word. When I told you about my time leap, you said, I took it as proof that my theories were right. I didn't doubt it was true for a second. Don't forget, it was my mad skills that turned the sine wave into a time leap machine. I don't talk like that. What you want most right now is your own fork. What? Kurisu's face suddenly turns red. You already have your own spoon, apparently. She said that? I'm gonna kill myself five hours from now. She appears genuinely shocked for some reason, but I'm pretty sure she believes me now. It feels like someone peeked into my heart and that someone is Okabe of all people. Oh my god, poor Okabe. He's always on the short end of the stick. Alright, hang on. Um, what does she think I'm going to do? But, I think I believe you. Tell me the details. I explain everything to Kulisu again. I'm able to organize my thoughts better since this is my second time. I see. If what you say is true, then we have a serious problem. There are five hours until Mayuri's death. We need to come up with a plan before then. Future me said that the chronology protection conjecture holds. But I don't think that's quite right. That conjecture says that according to quantum theory, time travel is impossible due to the dangers of disrupting causality. But when you time leap, there's no chance of a time paradox occurring. Two of me don't exist at the same time, and I can't bring anything with me to the past. All that changes are the memory stored in my temporal lobe. So that, at the very least, time leaping can't cause a grandfather paradox. So I was right. The universe is itself is censoring me, correcting any changes I try and to make. If that's true, then time leaping can't save Mayuri. Nothing you do will change the result. I can't accept that. Neither can I. The world is trying to kill Mayuri. As I, scientist, I refuse to believe such nonsense. What about the many worlds interpretation? I just need to observe the world where Mayuri doesn't die. The many world interpretation? That might have something to do with how Mayuri means... Mayuri's means of death keeps changing. But, it's supposed to be impossible for parallel worlds to observe each other. Why are you different? Because of my esp power, reading Steiner. This is no time for your Chunyubo nonsense. There's no other explanation. You've mentioned that reading Steiner thing before. Were you actually serious? Why would I make up something like that? A DML experiment proved that I can somehow perceive changes in the timeline when they occur. It's an ability only I seem to possess. Although you could just be a complete nutter. I don't know, but I don't want to rely on something that may not even exist. 
Anyway, you can't control which possibility you observe. Even if the many worlds interpretations hold true, it's unreasonable to expect that you'll ever find a world where Mayuri doesn't die. Wait. We're not getting anywhere. Instead of analyzing what I've done, let's think about what we can do. Time leaping won't change the result. I just said that. Then what do we do? Calm down. How can I calm down? Do you know how many times I've seen Mayuri die? Covered in blood, gasping for breath, the light fading from her eyes again and again and again. And all I can do with a watch. I hear my teeth grinding in my skull, recalling that despair. That feeling of utter powerlessness makes me want to lash out at everything within reach. Getting emotional won't solve anything. You're only calm because you weren't there. True. I don't know what happens five hours from now. To be honest, it doesn't feel real at all. But, it's not like I don't believe you. You have to stay strong, Okabe. But, but can I? Can I stay strong? Kurisu pats my arm. Her hand is warm, and her touch is gentle. How American of her. Sorry. She's right. Getting emotional won't solve anything. I need to calm down. Calm down. What I don't understand is how the cause can change, but the effect can stay the same. It's like causality itself is broken. Maybe Kyuyomoka shooting her isn't the real cause of her death. Maybe it's something larger and less obvious. For example, Maybe she dies because we invented a time machine, or because CERN discovered our hacking. If that's the cause, then it doesn't really matter how she dies, causality remains intact. Can that theory explain why Nei pushed her in front of a train? Alright. Hmm. Anyway, the principle of causality is absolute. Deny that, and you deny all of physics. There must be a distinct cause of Mayuri's death. So if we figure out what it is, then maybe we can save her. Not necessarily. What do you mean? The problem is, when the casual event ha occurred, if it happens too far in the past, then there's nothing we can do. But, I can travel to any time I have a cell phone, can't I? No. It's still theoretical, but I believe that one leap within our machine has a maximum range of 48 hours. 48 hours. I can only go back, back two days. Why didn't you tell me that before? Before what? I just finished the time leap machine, remember? That's true. Future you didn't say anything about it earlier. Uh, either. Oh, so that's what you mean. Maybe she just didn't have the chance. So how come I only have 48 hours? Can only leap 48 hours. I don't know. Even I don't understand everything that's going on inside that thing. But you can do consecutive leaps, that is, as long as the time leap machine exists, for example, if the time leap machine remains functional for 10 straight years, you could leap back to this moment 10 years from now. Of course, it would take a total of uh, 1,825 leaps, so I don't re recommend it. Still, it's theoretically possible. Then what's the problem? When you listen, I said as long as the time leap machine exists, 
When was the machine completed? Oh. Ah. So. Exactly. An hour ago. August 13, 2010. 2 p.m. Or thereabouts. Didn't exist before then. It's impossible to use the machine before 2 p.m. today. So what you're saying is, count 48 hours back. I can't go back further than 2 p.m. on the 11th. Kurisu nods, her expression grave. Most likely. Can't you improve it? Eventually, maybe, but certainly not now. I'd need a real laboratory with real equipment. It would be expensive, which means we'd need sponsors. And if we go looking, I'm pretty sure CERN would crush us. I'd say that's proven by the fact that neither you nor I have left here from the far future yet. So basically, we can't do anything. Even with the time leap machine, we can't stop CERN from killing Mayuri five hours from now. At that moment, I hear a sound from outside the window. What? Is it Mulka? Did she overhear us? I dashed to the window and looked down at the street. It's Suzaha. Her bicycle has fallen over, and she's scurrying to pick it up. Our eyes meet. Huh? Why does she look so pale? Her lips move slightly. Looks like she's whispering something, but I can't make it out from here. Hey. I call out to Suzaha, but she leaps on her bike and zips away. She's acting strange. I smell a conspiracy. Moko was a spy. Could Suzaha be the same? It's too dangerous to trust anyone. Suzaha has exhibited suspicious behavior, though not as much as Moka has. She's openly hostile towards Kurisu, and she was able to take down Cern's hit squads single-handedly. I wonder if this missing father of hers really exists. Could he be the John Tider who's been posting on the internet? What is the meaning of the name Barrel Tidor? Instinct tells me that she knows something. I dash out of the lab. Hey, where are you going? I know I don't have much chance of catching her on foot, but I have to try. There's something going on here. This is a completely new sequence of events. According to my mem memories of the future, Suzaha is supposed to remain at the Braun Tube Workshop until 6.30 this evening. But when she overheard me talking to Kurisu, she suddenly took off like a bat out of hell. This has to mean something. Uh, Suzaha's already out of sight, but when she left, she was headed to Chudori. I wonder if her phone's on. Maybe I should just try calling her. Come to think of it, this reminds me of something. On the day she failed to meet her father, she disappeared without a word, just an email saying bye. I searched the town, but I couldn't find her, so I sent a D-mail that changed the past in order to make her stay. I'm pretty sure I lost her near the station back then. What happened to that on that timeline? Where did Suzaha go after failing to find her father? I search up and down Chudori, um, but find no trace of Suzaha on her bike. Or her bike. I have to be careful. There could already be rounders here in Akiba. I comb the area around the station's main exit, but there's no sign of her anywhere. I lost sight of her here before, so I thought she might be close by. Maybe I should corner her on my next time leap, press her for answers before she can escape. I better get back to the lab. I start walking away from the station, but just then, the people around me gasp and point. 
Everyone's looking up at the sky. No, not the sky. A satellite embedded in the roof of Radican. Why now? It's been there for two weeks. It's practically a landmark now. But everyone looks like they're seeing it for the first time. So I turn and look up too. <gasps> what? The lights on the satellite are blinking. Is someone inside? Who? Oh, my name is Suzuha. Suzuha. Could it be Molka? <laughs> satellite has remained silent through all of my previous time loops. What has changed? Obviously the fact that Suzuha overheard my conversations with Kuritu. Previously I lost sight of her at the station. In other words, right next to Daddy Can. Suzuha must be up there. Everything, everyone's staring at the satellite. This is my chance to sneak in without being noticed. The shutters are half open, just as they were when I confronted Molka. I summon my courage and crawl through the crack. When I get inside, the first thing I see is Suzuha Spike laying on the floor. So it is her. Hang on. What is she trying to do? What is that satellite? How is that related to John Tidal? Is it even a satellite? Nobody knows for sure. I checked online. No satellites fell out of orbit that day. When they do, whether by accident or design, they usually burn up in the atmosphere. It's impossible for one to land in such a perfect condition. It's impossible for one to land in such a perfect condition. So what is it then? A jolt suddenly runs through my body. Could it be a time machine? There's only one way to know for sure. I need to get there before Suzuha does something. What is Suzuha going to do, I wonder? Wow. The elevator and escalator aren't operating, so I bound up the stairs two at a time. My lungs gasp and my legs burn, but I force my body to carry me to the top. There's the satellite lodged in Radican's roof. I notice wires holding it in place. The police must have done that so it wouldn't fall. There's a hatch open on the side of the machine. I see someone moving inside. Suzaha! The person freezes when I shout. I run to the satellite. Okabe Dintaro. Dintaro. Suzaha turns to me with a sad expression. Behind her, I can see the interior of the satellite. It's surprisingly simple, without the switches and buttons you'd expect. Instead, there's a black box the size of a desktop PC. There are numbers on the screen. 2010 8 13 and below that 1975 0 at 13 Suzuha reaches out to press a button <laughs> Ow. Um, Sparks burst from the panel she jerks back her fingertips burned What are you doing it's not working you know how to use that thing? She doesn't reply. I see her shoulders sag. It's not working. Those sparks had to be from an electrical short. My eyes are burning from the smoke. Answer me, Amane Suzaha. I solo hard, then ask the question. This is a time machine, isn't it? Are you a time traveler? With her head hung low, Suzuha nods. I'm John Taito. There's still a big crowd outside, so we exit the building on the side, facing away from the station. Suzuha has calmed down a bit, so I start pressing her for answers. What do you mean, you're John Taito? Exactly what it sounds like. I'm the John Taito who's been posting on At Channel. I thought he was a guy. Suzuha smiles humorously. I fooled you. Guess my camouflage was then. 
I was hoping you wouldn't find out, but my time machine went and broke on me. I really screwed up, huh? I thought Taito's time machine was loaded on a Chevy. Chevy? That's a car, right? Where'd you hear that? The Taito in 2000 said so. 2000? That might be me on a different world line. At least I haven't been to 2000. I came straight here from 2036. So it was someone else? It's true that Taito never posted in 2000. Not on the current world line. It doesn't matter. I can worry about that later. What do you know? I press Suzuha for answers, tapping her between, trapping her between me and the wall so she can't escape. You overheard my conversation with Kurisu, right? Why did you run to the time machine? What were you trying to do? I thought it was my fault. What? Because I neglected my mission, CERN was able to put their plans in motion. Is it true? Suzuha suddenly grabs my shoulder. Is it true that CERN killed Shina Mayuri? It's true. A time leap from five hours in the future, but it's not five hours anymore. Time leaped? So you guys cre completed your time machine? I need answers. What do you mean it's your fault? Suzuha bites her lip and looks away. I'll tell you everything. I think you need to know. You and Makise Kurisu. Kurisu? Kurisu? Why Kurisu? I'll guess I'll find out if I let Suzuha talk. We should head back to the lab. But first, I offer Suzuha my handkerchief. She looks at me for a second, then takes it and ties it around her burned hand. Thank you. Thank you. She should probably see a doctor about her hand, but there's no time for that. Mayu's death is approaching. I just hope she's not in too much pain. I wrap a towel around my hand, uh, around her hand, to keep people around us from staring. Ah, Welcome Okari, back, Okarin. Oh, Susu sans with you two. When we get back to the lab, Mayuri and Daru are there for some reason. I thought I sent them home. Mayuri gives me a ditzy answer when I ask them. I really thought we should celebrate the birth of Super Phone Wave Charm. So Daru Kun and I went shopping. I should have known she wouldn't stay away. Kurisu looks so worried as I am. She leans close and whispers him to my ear. What do we do? Make absolutely sure Mayuri doesn't find out. Kurisu nods slightly. What are you guys whispering about? Um, how many times do I have to say it? No party. Come on, Okarin, that's no fun. It's not about fun. I glance at Suzuha. She still looks depressed. Suzu-san, are you feeling okay? Suzuha, Christina and I have important matters to discuss. That's why I ask you to leave for the day. Mayushi wants to hear too. Yeah. Um, I think he's serious. 
That's just a sad look sad. Mayushi's worrying. Sorry. Suzaha hangs her head and bites her lip. I know she feels responsible for Mayuri's death. But how is she related? That's what I'm here to find out. I want Shina Mayuri and Hishida Itaru to stay. This concerns them too. If Suzaha says so, then I have no objections. But I quietly pull her aside and remind her not to tell them about Mayuri's impending death. And I quickly explain Suzaha's true identity that she's posted on at channel as John Titor, that the satellite is really a time machine, that she came from the year 2036. A girl from the future? That's awesome! Can I shake your hand? We're not playing around here, Daru. What year were you born? 2017. Oh, that's this year. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What did I do? What did I do? I'll tap. That's in seven years. You haven't even been born yet. But you're here. Huh? There's no time to deal with Mayuri's confusion. Alright, Suzaha. Let's hear it. Well, the gist is what I posted on our channel. I came from the future, the year 2036. In my time, the world is a dystopia ruled by sand. There's no war, no conflict, but no freedom either. <laughs> dystopia? A society where every activity is controlled by the government. In a dystopia, you're not allowed to eat bananas unless today is banana eating day. If you break that rule, they throw you in jail without a trial. That's terrible. My issue loves bananas. Forget about the bananas. I'm part of the resistance fighting to free humanity from Sen's control. I came to the past to change my present. From your point of view, I guess I should say the future. To change the future. Change the future. She doesn't sound like she's joking. Um, what about finding your father? Was that a lie? Suzuha doesn't answer. Does that mean it was a lie? CERN is a research institution. They don't have political power. I explained that to John Titus several times online. Online? Wait, don't tell me. Your Kuri Gohan and Kamehameha. Kurisu turns red and looks away. I don't came forward. It's only fair that I do too. In that case, <laughs> come clean to. I was posting under my true name, Ho In Kyo. We know. <laughs> ah, you harmonized. Suzaha frowns. She must not like having anything in common with Kurisu. She clears her throat and continues. Sen is still a research institution in 2036. The world is actually ruled by Cern's secret backers, the Committee of 300. The Committee of 300? They're real? That name was in Cern's top secret document. When Cern successfully completed their time machine, they became the sole entity with power over the fourth dimension, time. In just two years, they remade the world to serve their purpose. Just two years. But that's only an objective time. I bet Cern's time travel spent many decades leaping back and forth across history, building the foundation of Cern's rule. That brings us to you, Makise Kurisu. 
This is how it glares at Kuritsu. In 2036, you're apathesized as the mother of the time machine. Apotheosized? In Japanese, please. Uh, as in reversed, respected. She keeps using unusual vocabulary, or maybe that's normal vocabulary in 2036. Respected, huh? I am. In 2010, you pioneered time leap technology. Afterwards, you contribute to the development of sense time machine. That's what I know about Makise Kurisu. Is that why she treats Kurisu like an enemy? Then I must be the father of Time Machine, right? Okabe Dintodo is a terrorist in 2036. You're pretty infamous. What? Seriously? I'm a terrorist in the future? You're a bit of a terrorist now, though. I help Sen build the Time Machine. I don't believe it. Certain experiments on people against their will. There are disgraced to scientists everywhere. I would never collaborate with them. But that's how it is in the future. How did the future me explain herself? We've never met. By 2036, you're already dead. Sorry. Wow. That's just great. I don't even make it to 50? In my time, there are two kinds of people. Those who live extremely long lives and those who die young, under suspicious circumstances. People who act against CERN are erased. So you probably acted against CERN. They erased me? This is how it looks into Kurisu's eye for once. She's not glaring at Kurisu. Maybe you were being used by CERN too. Maybe they took your parents hostage and forced you to work on their time machine. Quite possible. Well, so they capture you in like less than four hours. No. Does that mean Mama's in danger? Kurisu's mother is in America. It's not terribly difficult to imagine CERN kidnapping her while Kurisu is away. After all, I watched Mocha kill Mayuri in cold blood more than once, too. Rounders. What's that? Sen's private army. Or something like that. Suzuha nods. On paper, they're an independent technological technology research firm. In reality, they did the dirty work for Sen all over the world. According to Mocha, they have two chief duties. First, to acquire, uh, to acquire IBM 5100s, the only computers that can access CERN's secret database. Second, to find promising scientists in the field of time travel and force them to cooperate with CERN or eliminate them if they will not. So they already exist. I thought they might in my time. They're our number one enemy. Dirty work. Does that mean, like, kidnappings and assassination? Suzuha looks to me with a question in her eyes. I shake my head. In my time, yes, but I don't think they've reached that level in this time yet. Dadu is visibly relieved. Amani-san, you said that most of what you posted as John Tyler was true, right? Right. Does that mean you know how the universe works? You claim that the Everett Wheeler model, the many worlds interpretation, is correct. That was a lie. Camouflage so that CERN wouldn't target me. If I mix one lie into the truth, then the bad apple spoils the barrel. So, you don't know. I do. By 2036, scientists have successfully modeled the structure of the universe, and it's not the many worlds interpretation. Really? Tell me. Attractor fields. Right. I told you by mail, didn't I? 
What sort of model is that? The universe is made up of world lines and attractor fields. Scissor works over to Mayu's sewing table and picks up a ball of red yarn. She holds one end of the yarn and drops the ball to the floor, then holds about a meter of yarn in front of her face. The universe is like this piece of yarn. Countless possible world lines exist side by side, branching out to infinity. From a distance, it looks like a single string. But when you look closer, the string is actually made up of indi individual threads woven together. At the end, those threads converge on a single point. The paths are different, but the destination is the same. Isn't that determinism? Let's have a look what that says. Uh, the school of philosophy that states that every event is predetermined by previous events. The past determines the present. The present determines the future. Even though we may think that we are acting of our own free will, in truth, we are only following the predetermined path. Those who subscribe to determinism, determin, yeah, yeah, minism, often cite that the thought experiment of Lap Laplace's demons for an, an intellectual sorry sorry for an intellectual which at a certain moment would know all forces that set nature in motion and all positions of all items of which nature is composed. Nothing would be uncertain and the future just like the past would be present before its eyes. Pierre Simon Laplace Close. The model is a little looser. You could say it's cher it cherry picks from the many worlds interpretation and the Copenhagen interpretation. If the branches all lead to the same place, does that mean there's only one world in the end? Pretty much. Exactly. The bundles of world lines that share a point of convergence is called an attractor field. There are also many attractor fields. This string is attractor field alpha. The threads are alpha world lines. Sizaha then cuts meter length string of blue, yellow, and white yarn. Blue is beta, 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 yeah. Yellow is gamma, and white is delta. Each is made up of countless be be beta world lines, gamma world lines, and delta world lines. She twists the different colored strings together, then stretches them out. Oh, so this out as one flat multicolored string. Tractor fields are super positioned like this. In each attractor field, the world line converges on a different result. They don't interact. Each attractor field is independent of the others. Of course, they all diverge from a common point. We're somewhere in the past, and they will converge again at some point in the future. But that takes many hundreds of years. You can think of the attractor fields as very long world lines. Can you compare it to an eroge? Teach me. Oh, erotic one. There's no erotic one here. No. He's right. It is like an erogo. Each heroine's root is an attractor field, and the small choices within are the individual world lines. But at the end, they all enter the true root for the grand ending. The only difference is the length of the common parts, by the way. I choose the little sister. <laughs> oh, little sister's attractor field. That is awkward. Whatever. You guys are hopeless. Better do something quick. Um, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Good. Just ignore them. Let, let me get this straight. The reason I can't say Mayuri is that her death is the event upon which this attractor field converges. But that means 
That means this the world really is killing Mayu, and it is. But then isn't it impossible to change the future? It always converges in the end, right? No matter what you do, the result is the same. That's right. That's why Mayuri dies no matter how many times I leave. We have to escape attractor, attractor field alpha. Escape? In other words, we're going to jump to a world line in which attractor field beta. Sort of tractor fields couldn't interact. Tractor fields are normally separate, but if we go to the instant they diverge, the instant they diverge, is that now? No. I was taught that a major divergent occurred in 2010. The this year an earth shattering event causes divergence at the attractor field level. The last time such a divergence occurred was in the year 2000, and before that in 1991. Um, happened those years? Events that change the face of the world. Huh? 1991 was the collapse of the Soviet Union, right? But what happened in 2000? 2001 had the 9-11 attack. The year 2000 problem. The Y2K? Y2K? But that was just hype. Nothing happened. Oh, but it could have. That's because the Alpha world line we're on represents a world where Y2K didn't occur. So in other words, there are worlds where it did occur. And that brings us to 2010, when we make the time machine. Did something big happen this year? Yeah, we made a time machine. What else could it be? Suzuha looks towards the development room. But the creation of humanity's first time machine. Oh yeah, wow! One more question. Kurisu keeps plowing ahead. I guess that's what makes her a scientist. These world lines aren't parallel worlds, are they? It's like two world lines that are like next to each other, I guess. No. Ultimately, they're just possibilities that exist simultaneously. Then how do you observe the difference between world lines? Wouldn't you need a god's eye view to do that? Normally. However... Suzuha looks at me. Don't tell me. Reading Steiner. Is that what you call it, Okabe Rintaro? You have the power to observe changes across world lines, correct? At least he thinks he does. Yeah. That's the key. Your power is the key to freeing the world from Stern's rule. You have the power of a god. My power? If you escape a tractor field alpha and reach a beta world line, then the results will change. I feel a shiver of excitement. So there's hope? I can save Mayuri. Suzuha nods firmly. Then I must do it. I have no choice. Wait a second. Kurisu, however, is not so enthusiastic. How do we know this is all true? What if Amane-san is just making stuff up? What? I'm not making stuff up. Calm down. I'm not trying to pick a fight. But I still have questions. One, how do you know about Okabe's power? Two, how did you know Okabe and I were in Akibara in 2010? Don't you know a little too much for someone born in 2017? She has a point. Everyone looks to Suzuha. It was written in Dad's will. His will? What do you mean? His will was what made me decide to time travel. 
My dad was one of the founding members of the resistance. He hid for himself and researched time travel on his own. He wanted to change the future. But Sen killed him. That's why I'm here, to fulfill his dreams. I'm sorry. Suzuha doesn't look at Kurisu. She still seems to have a grudge against her. Kurisu would never actively cooperate with Sen. I know that. But I just can't say it in front of Suzuha. For some reason, Suzuha really does see Kurisu as responsible for the problem of the future. But if that's the case, why doesn't Suzuha just kill Kurisu? Wouldn't that change the future too? Maybe she can't. World lines converge. No matter how hard I struggle, Mayuru dies. Similarly, it may be impossible for Suzuha to kill Kurisu no matter how much she want, may want to. Suzuha clears her throat as if to change the subject. Akihabara, 2010. The time machine created here accelerates CERN's own time machine research. We have to stop that from happening in order to guide history in a new direction. Stop it how? CERN already knows about us because we hacked them. That's clear from Mulka's attack. Dad believed that the ultimate cause was the very first email you sent with your time machine. An email? It wasn't because they caught us hacking? Like I said, nobody can catch my hacking. Which email are you talking about? Um, I know, wasn't it the email Okarin sent that said Chris Chan's dad? Chris Chan died? Right, the email I sent to Dadu right after Dr. Nakabachi's conference. Oh, that. Back then, we hadn't yet realized that the phone wave name subject to change was a time machine. Sen's probably intercepted that email and realized what it meant. They were already on to us back then. Come to think of it, the first time I met Moka was the day after I sent that email. We really jumped in the deep end, huh? Mayushi's good at the best stroke. Uh, Alright then, do a sexy underwater pose. But how did they intercept our email? Hundreds of millions of emails that are sent around the world each day. CERN uses the Echelon network to collect communications pertaining to time travel research worldwide. Echelon. According to conspiracy theories, Echelon is an advanced signal inter uh, interception system based on the in the United States and operated by the NSA, so the National Security Agency. However, American authorities have never publicly admitted to Echelon's existence, and no proof that it exists has ever been found. Particip a participating countries allegedly include the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, but not France. As an ally of the United States, Japan can also allow the construction of domestic Echelon stations in exchange for access to, to the interceptor data. The Elephant Cage Antenna Array, located in Misawa Air Base in Aomori, um, Japan is rumored to be one such station. These stations are said to intercept, collect, and analyze a wide range of signals, including private cell phone transmission. That's awkward. Echelon. Echelon. It really exists? As an expert on conspiracies, I understand the implication, as the, and they terrify me. No one else seems to get what Suzuha is saying, though. Echelon sees everything. Any transmission that even hits at the time travel is filtered and sent to Sir. For example, an email that appeared to have come from the future. We need to find the record of that email in CERN's database and delete it. If you do that, then CERN will never know you exist. The time machine won't be completed in 2034. If we're lucky, the program may be shut down entirely. In other words, deleting that data will take us to the attractive field where CERN doesn't build a time machine. 
Hmm. There wasn't any data like that when we hacked CERN's database. The IBN 5100. Oh. Of course, CERN's IBN 5100 database. That's probably where they store the data from Echelon. So that's what it is. Damn it. Daru, why didn't we use the IBN 5100 earlier? Because we don't have one. Um, we never had one? What are you talking about? I got one, remember? Huh? Oh, right, that was on a different world line. On this world line, I never found the IBN 5100. My mission is to make sure you acquire an IBN 5100. You have one? Suzaha shakes her head. I'm going to 1975 to obtain one. 1975, the year the IBN 5100 went to the market. I know because the John Titer in 2000 said that was his mission. Was that John Titer Suzaha too? Anyway, if Suzaha can get us an IBN 5100, then we can leave this attractor field and jump to a beta world line where CERN never finds us and their time machine is never completed. Mayuri won't have to die. Alright, we need to move fast. How soon can you leave, Suzaha? I was trying to leave when you caught me, but... Suzaha bows her head apologetically. I look at her burnt hand. She's hiding it from Mayuri and Daru, but I can see the blood staining my handkerchief. It hurts to look at. Maybe we should go get her to the doctor. Right. Your time machine is broken. Can you fix it? No. I just ride it. My dad's the one who built it. I've memorized the manual so I know how it works, but... That doesn't mean she knows how to repair it. And there's no guarantee that a time machine from 2036 can be repaired with today's technology. Maybe we can use the time leap machine to go back before Amaneta Sa's time machine broke. Wait, you're going to use the time leap machine? Wasn't the plan not to use the two experiments? I still haven't told Daru about my time leaping. There's no time to explain. We'll use it if the situation demands. Do you know when it broke, Suzaha? No. But it was probably the rain a few days ago. It's supposed to be all airtight, but the inside was all wet when I checked it today. Maybe it made a hole when you crashed into a daddy can. That wasn't a crash. The coordinates were slightly off, so it just appeared there. It's not exactly the most stable machine. Anyone remember when it rained? The morning of the 10th. Just before dawn. The time leap machine can only cover 48 hours in a single leap. And the time leap machine was completed today, the 13th, at 2pm. That means we can't go further back than 2pm on the 11th. Damn! We can't get there with the time leap machine. Thought we had a glimmer of hope. I think we should try to fix it. Yeah, it's a time machine. So we have plenty of time, right? No. Suzaha. Kurisu. Kurisu, Suzaha, and I say nothing. We know. In less than two hours, Mayuru will die. It's already 5.30. There's barely enough time to sneak into that he can, let alone fix Suzaha's time machine. Maybe I should leap now to 2 p.m. on the 11th, then we'll have two full days to fix the machine. You're all hungry, aren't you? You should be. What's this all of a sudden? Mayushi's hungry. As expected from a glutton. I take a 10,000 yen bill out of my wallet, so that's about $100. Mayuri, Daru, I leave the shopping to you. We can come up with a plan while we eat. Wow, Okarin. What are you... What are we going to do with all this money? Buy food, lots of food, use it all. You just calmly hand over a 10,000 yen bill. Wow, Okarin. You make it look easy. That's why we love you. That's why we admire you. Mayuri and Daru leave in high spirits. I knew the 10,000 yen bill would work. 
クリスティーナ。クリスティーナ、タイトタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタイトルタ After Tata explains herself again, we'll start repairs on the time machine. Our goal is to have it working by this time today. Is that the best plan? It's better than trying to fix it when we only have two hours left. If it doesn't work, I'll just keep repeating the same two days. I'm sorry. Tata, we're counting on you to get us an IBM 5100. Never forget, I'm not doing this for you, and I'm not doing it for the future. My mission is to save Mayuri. Call me self righteous if you want, however, I'm doing this my way. Kurisu and Suzaha give an encouraging nod in agreement. Good. Then let's begin. You're not going to name, it, name the operation? Who cares about that? This isn't a game. Mayuri's life hangs in the balance. You couldn't find a good name? Good Norse mythology theme name? Why North Norse mythology? I don't think there's a deep meaning behind it. Chunyabo patients just love Germanic names for some reason. Now that you mention it, most of our operation names in the resistance have Germanic names too. Whenever I ask, they say it's tradition. So, there's still Chunyabos in 2036. Cut the chatter! Mayuri's life hangs in the balance. There's no time for this nonsense. Kurisu sets up the time leap machine while Suzuha goes to turn on the 42 inch CRT. Well before Mayuri returns, I leave. And guys, I'm gonna leave this here at this point so that we can continue on from the time loop. So, hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.